Chris, defeat today against Morpeth. What were your thoughts on the game? I thought we had an, you know, an excellent start, to be honest. I thought the first 20 minutes we were, we were very good, lively. Um, moved the ball really well, caused some problems, created some really good moments, uh, which we should have done better. And then, like it has been over the last two or three games, we get done with one ball. Um, lack of communication, not open the bodies, and all of a sudden we're on the back foot again. And um, you know, instead of really seeing that uh, disappointment, you know, the confidence drained out of us a little bit um, with the opening goal, and then we then go and make a mistake for the second one, pass inside, which is never on. Um, all he has to do is open up and go into the channel. Um, you know, and then we he gets done one v one, ends up falling over. The kid pokes it through legs, and it's two 0 down. And then um, again, mistake. Centre halves who don't want to head the ball, as and when it's there to be done. And um, you know, we give a corner away, and we get done from it. Said set pieces were strong for them, and uh, we give them an opportunity. Yeah, it's frustrating because today it was Louis. Another day it was Darius, another day it was Tom, you know, another day it was Luke. You know, defensively we're just making too many errors. You know, it's not the same person game after game. But, you know, the lads that have been in there over the last two or three games have made too many big mistakes. Then again, you know, we're getting at half time when we've got a mountain to climb. I thought after half time the lads really had a go. You know, I can't fault that. You know, they didn't lie down at 3 0. Uh, we had a go, we had some really good moments, keeps us made one or two good saves, which is pleasing. And I think uh, we've created more today than we have done in previous games. I think if we'd have got an early goal in the game, it might have been a little bit different. Um, obviously, then the lad gets sent off, and I just thought we lost our way when they went out of 10 men. We had so much of the ball that we just made the wrong choice and um, never created more opportunities than we should have done with them only being down to 10 men so that was disappointing and I said that to them you know we don't need to force it um, you know he was trying to play passes that just weren't even you know on but that's their decision when they're out there and ultimately we've got to keep working on that but defensively we're now I'm at a point now where it's beyond a joke to be honest and um, we'll be looking to do something about it it's as simple as that because at the minute you know what I'm seeing out there uh, with whatever system we go with, it's just not been good enough. Was it even even more frustrating, I guess, that the first 20 minutes we were on top and we'd create a chance of our own, and then yeah, the, the first chance yeah. they've got, they've, they've gone and scored? That's it. And, you know, and, and it deflates you when you've had a couple of losses. And uh, I said that to him, it's important that we get into half time uh, still in the game because in the last two games we haven't. So, you know, to find ourselves 3 0 down again at half time. That's why I made the change. Uh, you look at the three lads centre out. Uh, sorry, three, three lads in, in second half. Much more aggressive, too passive, too nice uh, in the first half. And you know, we only had to deal with the nine central, and they couldn't do it. And that's cost us. And it's really frustrating because some of the basics, basic defending um, decisions, what's required at this level. And, to be fair, step four and even step five. I'm just not doing it. So, yeah, it's time to uh, strengthen, certainly in that area. Um, we'll see, you know, we'll start working and see what, uh, what we come up with. So you spoke in recent weeks about wanting more creativity. Were you, were you pleased with, I suppose, that aspect today? We had shots on goal, we had chances, and we'd created a lot more than perhaps we had done previously. Yeah, I agree with you. I think we've probably created more today than we have done in the last four games. And even though we've, it's just defensively at the other end at the moment, um, we're leaking goals to come. You know, the results don't lie. And until we address that, which we need to, then um, things aren't going to change for us. You know, that's the foundation to help you, you know, to build on to, to go and get a result. Um, you know, but it's. We can't be on top like we were and then get done with one ball. It's just really poor. And, uh, and I feel for everybody. 
because I think in um, the first 20 minutes everybody was really upbeat with what they were seeing. You know, um, some good link up play, some good movement, really good. As I say, we, we, start, we really caused some problems the first 20 minutes, but after that, um, you know, it went downhill very, very quickly with the mistakes that were made. I think you had a slight you're changing shape as well. Do you think the players have adapted to that, having maybe not played that before? Yeah, I mean, it, you know, again, it worked quite well at times. And, um, but it was nothing to do with the shapes today. You know, I know we've changed it and had a look at things, but let's be honest, it's just poor decisions defensively. There's no getting away from that. Everybody in the ground has witnessed it, even though I'm, you know, portraying it now through my interview. Bottom line is, until that's eradicated, you know, we ain't going to win a game. So that has to be addressed. And it's down to myself and the management team to do it. The game's coming, coming quick and fast in October. Another league game away on Tuesday. Let's go again. Well, you have to, you know, we're going to have to lick our wounds, but you've got to, oh, sorry, you've got three days. Apologies, you've got three days to uh, certainly recover. And um, hopefully one or two will go away and heed what we've said about uh, the mistakes they made. I mean, as I say, Louis made two today. So, you know, he's got to come back stronger on, on Tuesday night. Uh, but ultimately, yeah, we have to go again, dust ourselves down. And if we can play like we did first 20 minutes and for large periods in the second half, then we'll create moments, the right click more than moments and opportunities. And then it's uh, it's down to ourselves to make sure we keep the back door shut. Because at the minute, I feel sorry for Greg. So at the end, then, some of the fans that stayed behind and also the players, you know, got, got a good reception after, after the game. Well, I think you saw a team not lying down today, that's for sure. They certainly went, um, you know, right to the end to try and get something out of the game. You know, being 3 0 down at half time, they could have wilted and, you know, gone in the shell and, you know, just let the game drift. But they didn't. You know, we did have a real good goal. We had some really good moments. I think the Raul situation, I mean, the referee gave it a dive, but, you know, I've seen the top of his shin. You know, there's pure contact there. You know, he's even got a cut from where the lad kicked him. So the fact that the referee then decided it was a yellow card for him was a strange one. But he had one of them strange days, to be fair. Um, but, you know, that's the standard of affiliating. It wasn't down to the officials who lost the game today. We lost the game because, ultimately, we can't defend as individuals. And, uh, you know, second half, when they did the right things at the right time, they've had a clean sheet. So it's not rocket science, we've just got to do that over a 95 minute period and more often than not in the first half of games because at the minute it's killing us.